Look where we've come from. Yeah, look where we've come from. Fucking nowhere. <laughs> We're up against this very, very difficult terrain. 45 degree slopes. Unstable rock. So many miles to make, and we have to constantly be on the move. Ugh. It's hard to tell people how hard it is. There's not a trail at all. You're climbing up and down thousands and thousands of vertical feet, and you have got to store food ahead of you. You can't be a couple of days late, or you'll starve. Let's see the Pete McBride happy dance. <laughs> My ankle hurts. My ankle hurts. I don't care. What is happening in the canyon? Would hiking show us what was really going on? This is the most protected place in the world. And yet, what do you think I spend most of my time doing? Is protecting this place. Most people are completely unaware that something as gigantic, immovable, and as timeless as Grand Canyon can actually be destroyed by the hand of man. We're trying to offer the average person that below the rim experience. We don't want to see it develop. We don't want to see the Disneyland on the edge of the canyon. The helicopters are a mess. To drill in and extract something of value for profit, you know, for businesses that are running on the edge of it, benefiting from the park, is kind of crazy. The consequences are enormous. These are immeasurably valuable, pristine ecosystems that can teach us and future generations so much about how nature works, about how the world works. It is impossible to be inside of that place and not be struck by how incredibly small and totally irrelevant we are as human beings. That cuts directly against the grain of how this country thinks of itself. The Grand Canyon has things to say that we as Americans need to hear. If we can't protect Grand Canyon, what can we protect? <laughs>